When we had last left, Team Bald, they were in Windspear Hills where they met a group of strange acting folks who immediately turned out to be werewolves. And then they followed up on the missing and abducted child of one... Garin? Garahan? Something like that. Regardless, they were abducted by none other than Lord Hirden Firecrag, who turned out to be a massive butthole that a lot of people kind of knew about, but Team Ball didn't really know too much about that. But now they found themselves inside of some gigantic super dungeon complex where Lord Hirden Firecrag was laughing at them at every turn until they would make their way to the final stages in the, the final room where... I guess they would fight him. <laughs> this is Baldur's Gate 2, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Let us unhide all of that and be on our way, huh? Yeah, we've got these two areas. I think we maybe backtrack a bit and check right... Well, what if this is a dead end? Hmm. Okay, we'll all go inside right. this room. There's no reason why we couldn't backtrack, right? I don't think so. Oh! As always. The pleasure is mine. Hold. I warn you. I have killed many of your brethren to get this... Oh, forgive my manner. I feared you were another grouping of orcs come to harass me. Another grouping of orcs. Perhaps you should fear me more than any orc. You do not know me. I've been called many things, but never... Orc, who are you? <laughs> oh, man, yeah. <laughs> I've never been called that. <laughs> <gasps> Literally am half orc. <laughs> I have been beset by those. This is this this part of the quest, and, and maybe all of Windspear feels really different being a half orc who just cannot acknowledge the fact that they are such. Uh, which, correct me if I'm wrong, but half orcs are only playable thanks to Enhanced Edition, right? They otherwise would not have been a playable character race, right? Maybe I'm wrong about that, though. Anyway, I've been beset by those foul creatures as well. We are in the same situation. Huh. I, I mean, I have to say this. I've been called many things, but never orc. Who are you? My apologies. I am Samia, and it would seem we are in the same situation. Have you come searching for the tomb as well? I was not aware of another expedition. Expedition? No, I know nothing of this. I am here seeking a villain named Firecrag. I mean, is this also a fake out? Hmm. What could you be seeking in such a place as this? It must be valuable. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm here. Yeah, the tomb. No, I don't know anything about an expedition. Hmm. I was approached by Lord Yearden Firecrag. He seemed to suggest that I would need his approval if I were to make it through here. I haven't had much trouble, though. There were a few orcs, but they seemed to be afraid of this area. They might be in league with Firecrag. He is somewhere with a kidnap victim. All the better for us, then. What are you looking for? Is what you are seeking valuable? All the better for us, then. What are you looking for? I seek the tomb of King Strom III of Tether. He lost his life to treachery, a sad end for a noble man. I hope to find texts in his tomb that will detail his life. But I cannot pass beyond this area. I have the key, but something prevents my entry. Perhaps the magic was attuned to stop those of a certain heritage. What? Probably a holdover from a time of war. They did not want enemies defiling the tomb. You can guess what I'm going to ask, can't you? What is your heritage that would not let you enter? What? What? Someone from Tether? Is that what you mean? A Tetherian? A Tetherite? A Tetheron? Okay. Or, like, whatever race you may be? You wish me to enter and retrieve what I can? I will be glad to help. You wish me to risk my neck while you wait back here. Is that the idea? I'm afraid I cannot help you. I have other things to do. You want me to enter and retrieve what I can? Sure, why not? I thank you. Here is a key which opens the first door. 
Inside, you should find the tomb, though I doubt it will be unguarded. According to legend, the tomb contains seven guardians. The last guards the burial chamber and is invisible even to the strongest magics. If the legends are true, I'm not sure how you would get by such a creature. There may be clues beyond this door to guide you towards such an end. The texts I seek should be in the burial chamber. Once you get them, return to me and I shall compensate you. Good luck. You'll likely need it. Fuck, okay. Let's see. Rescue Garen. Yeah, Garen's child. Inside Firecrag's dungeon, I encountered a woman by the name of Samia, a relic hunter of sorts, who is searching for texts relating to a dead Tetherian king. I have agreed to take her key and find the text she needs from the king's burial chamber, which is supposedly protected by a mysterious, invisible creature, the last of seven guardians. According to the legends, according to the legends. Once I have the texts, I am to return to Samia. Okay. Which door? Though, there's a whole bunch here. Okay. I mean, we'll just, I guess we'll just take our pick. Ooh! Dread wolves and were- wolf wear. God, I forgot about wolf wear. For the greater balance! What is Jesus! It? Anime's getting Take fucked that. up, man. Okay. Holy shit! Yeah, look at this fresh hell. They're all over us, dude. Okay. Should we give him some heals? Yeah, we probably should. Go, Jahira! Yeah, greater wolf wear. Shit. What? Yes. Okay. Let's see here. Good God. Is this is this the route we're looking for? Or? No, because we. Oh shit. Orog. What are they? Are they like another? Is it? Is this like wolfware except for ogres? Okay, we got a booby trap in there, so we'll pull him back a bit. Nature, take the life she gave. Come get some. Booyah. Fall, Beware. And Your be knees near. are mine. Okay, let's launch some orbs in there. Great. Oh fuck, stone golems. Very well. Are there iron golems behind them as well? Okay, Animan, can you toss a heal my way? You've only got baby ones, though. Hmm. Alright, it'll have to do. We'll suck up some of that money on the ground. Just as I would have thought. Yeah, there's the stone golem. Another Orog. Yeah, we'll just keep pulling them back into this room, I think. That's fine. It's getting raged again. There we are. Oh shit, Yoshima! Get the fuck out of well. there! Fear is for those of no confidence. Good. Beware. Your knees are mine. Okay, let's have Jahira heal Yoshima a bit. Okay, is that full clear? Yes, yes. Let's disarm that. Take all this money. Arrows. And gems. Cool. Okay. Fantastic. Let's get that disarmed. Let's quick save oh, and send Jan in there. That. See if we can detect anything else. Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, am I level drained? Yeah, I've got energy drain active. Okay. That's fine. We have a solution to that. Am I the only one who got afflicted by it? Yeah. Was it the Orogs? Do Orogs do that? What is an Orog? Don't yell. Maybe it's I a type of ogre. Fine. Okay, well. What other heals have we got access to? Do we have any? 
We've got a big one, but maybe I'd rather not waste it here. I guess I can do my own heals. Hmm. Okay, that'll have to do it. Get on with it. This will be simple. Looks like no other booby traps in here. No time at all. Let's go across this makeshift bridge. What have we got up here? Ooh, more Orog. Okay. Am I still enraged? I'm not. Okay. Let's make that happen. Why well, can't? My bad. Pay attention. You will get those second chance. Good. Let's take care of this one. So I'm kind of running all over the place. Protection from normal weapons. Got it. Let's take that. Do we still have his int buff active? Yeah, I think so. 19. Let's give it a read. Cool. Okay. All right. Can we enter this door? Does it need picking? It, it does. It shall be done with skill and care, if not brevity. Okay. Huh. Very weird little steps. Uh, oh shit! Uh, there's a fucking booby trap here. Oh god! It's farted everywhere. Okay. Pull back. Pull back. Jesus. All right. We're all out of the fart, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is this area? Is this like null space? How how is this dungeon? Is this like another weird metaphysical dungeon like in some strange alternative plane of existence where we're just kind of like suspended in air like a Mario 64 level? Man, this farts last in a while. Holy shit, it is lingering. We're just never going to be able to go through here now. Look at this thing! That we there we go. The day was not this long, even when I led soldiers in the order. Okay, do we need to pick into this? We don't. Huh? Yes? Oh shit, oh. Chieftain Digdag! Now we make stand! Make Firecrack proud! He served by Stuck and Claw Clan! Stuck and Claw... Craw Clan. Okay. Oh, Tazak. Why am I familiar with Tazak? Why does Tazak sound so familiar to me? Where do I know that from? Huh. Oh, wait. Weren't you at my battle with Saravok beneath Baldur's Gate? Aren't you dead? What? Oh, we must be tripping. Okay. Ah, you did come. He said you would. But I thought you too much a coward. My swaddling kin will have your flesh after all. Tazak, weren't you at my battle with Saravok beneath Baldur's Gate? Aren't you dead? And who might you be? More fodder to be brushed aside, most likely. Just another nameless creature. I pity you, and I pity you your brief life and meaningless goals. <laughs> your meaningless goals! My god. Your meaningless- what an insult! Your fucking meaningless goals. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I've never heard anyone refer to someone else's goals as meaningless to be, like, such a- such an insult. And it is, like, what a biting insult. Couldn't we talk about this? You're obviously an intelligent creature. Now let's do the reactivity. Tazak, weren't you at my battle with Saravok beneath Baldur's Gate? Saravok took too much for his plate, left us in a bad position. You'll find my new master much smarter, and me much harder to kill. Seems Firecrag has a special treat in store. Brought me here just for you. Got a special bug in his craw. Tis <laughs> Everyone's got stuff in their craw about seeing you perform. Who am I to disagree if it means I get to put my foot to you once more? Fight! And know that Tazak is a power greater than you have ever seen. What the fuck? I scarcely remember you. Yonson, at your service. Let's shoot a ball at him. Seems yeah. like he's gonna move his any. Okay. Can also hold monster here if we can pull it off. 
Go after the chief. Oh shit, orcs coming in from the left. Fall back, Yoshima, fall back! Okay, let's also get... Uh, oh dear. Hmm. You know, Yoshima, just, uh, just use your Wand of Magic Missile here for once. You can do that. God, why are you going in the melee? Is he actually using the wand? Look at that. Jan got the hold off. I didn't even notice. Okay. Whoa. Let's cast another big heal. Man, I can't believe... <laughs> I don't even remember Tezak being particularly important. Didn't we, like, chase Tezak through that horrifying labyrinth area with all of the, like, claustrophobic walls and twists and turns and booby traps around every corner? Is that who Tezak was? Let's drink a potion. Why not? Maybe a bad idea, though. No? In for vision. Take some of these. Good. I'd carry the world if I could, but you'll have to package it smaller. I'm out of room. Oh, failed to learn Infravision. We'll stash that. Delver's Plate plus two. This armor has been worn by many a fine soldier, but among the best known, and for whom it was named, was Delver Kinlake. He was a vagabond whose strong arm and keen wits made him a respected general to the Lords of Waterdeep. A gift from Lord Baron. The armor served Delver well for thirty years, and after his death, it passed to his eldest son. It has since made its way into the hands of a variety of adventurers. Okay. Save versus spell plus two. Animan can use it. As can Jahira. Two handed sword. Ooh, maybe it's a good one. Whoa, Dragon Blade plus three. Is that is that better for me? A silver dragon with sapphire eyes curls around the hilt of this powerful two-handed sword. It is said that a legendary Rashemi warrior was given the sword for demonstrating exceptional valor in battle, where he fought side by side with a silver dragon. But the details of the tale have been lost to time. Okay. While enraged, the chance to score a critical hit is increased by 10%. Whoa, it's perfect for me! Holy shit! Berserkers, Barbarians, and Rashemi Warriors only. There's a subclass of Rashemi Warrior? Or does this mean specifically Minsk? Which it would still work for Minsk, right? No, because Minsk is a... Is Minsk actually a Barbarian or a Berserker? I don't think he is. He's something else, isn't he? Either way, it, might, it may be redundant. Deals an extra 2d4 points of cold damage and slows the target for one round no save on a crit. Oh my god! What? It's amazing! Holy shit! And what is Lilacor? It's a plus three. I mean, that said, the nice part of Lilacor is it makes us immune to charm and confusion. But we don't always face off against that, and just as well... Oh, we can converse? So, are we gonna kill something now? Okay. Uh... Do you have any advice, Ascension Sword? Advice, eh? Hmm. Well, besides working on your swordsmanship, you know, besides that, uh... I'd have to think. Hmm. Find someone rich, and kill him! Then find someone richer and kill them too. Hack and slash your way to fortune. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, the the richer they are, honestly, the the more they should die. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Definitely equipping this. Yeah, let's swap these around here. We'll move over that staff. 
Because the slow effect is so buck wild. It's got to be said. 18 to 27, yeah, same stats, just different effect, right? Yeah, the slow effect on this is so wild, and it has synergy with my own class. How do I check my own, like, crit chance, though? What is my passive crit chance? How do I even determine that? Critical hit plus one. I mean, that's good, but I, I don't really know. Yeah, I have no idea how to determine it. Combat stats? It's the same page, isn't it? Huh. It may have something to do with our two hit chance. Like, the more you overcap two hit and Thacko. Not only does it, like, like once it's done increasing your chance to just hit, it probably also raises your chance to get a crit, I would assume. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking too much of, like, uh, Pillars of Eternity. I'm pretty sure that's how that worked there. Okay, we're getting quite the fucking slew of keys, and I don't really have anywhere to place them. Okay, let's take a look at this full plate. Oh, can't ID it. Sure. Well, you know what? We just drank that potion, but, uh... <laughs> I guess it was a waste. Oh, fuck. Skeleton warriors. Okay. Look at that. I mean, it's immune to the cold damage, but holy shit. So, when... How often do I slow? Is it every time it deals cold damage, or no? Hmm. No, okay. It always will deal one cold damage. It'll deal extra cold and slow for one round on crit. And there's no save versus it either, it seems. Yeah, that's just, like, exceptionally good. And like I said, it's got added synergy with my own character. Okay, let's try and rest again. Fuck, and hey, we're never gonna be able to. Good. Okay. I demand the Take that. Was Animan asking Not for sleep? For yeah. Sorry, man, I'm trying. Okay, let's try one more time. Third time's a charm. Holy shit, it was. Okay, now let's ID this. It's just full plate mail plus one. Okay. Hmm. Would I rather the full plate mail... Well, shit. Hmm. Because this is not full plate mail. This is just mail. I want the save versus spell. It's too handy to not be hit by a spell. Especially, like, some form of debuff or crowd control. It's too nice to to just help with avoiding it. Okay, how about Jahira? I have too much in my pack as it is. You'll have to pick that up off the ground. Okay, fuck me. Let's see. Let's drop these basic darts. We don't need them anymore. Okay, and then... Man, Jahira's current armor is already... You know, the full plate mail plus one is already way too good. Okay. And for whatever reason, I can't equip it myself. I think it's because of my ring here. Ring of Earth Control, right? No. What is it, the cloak? Yeah, it's the cloak. Oh, shit. Okay. Who was wearing that other nice cloak? 
Cerned. Oh, only Cerned can use that cloak. Hmm. I mean, I could take this cloak from... Yon here, which is a good cloak, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should probably just do that. Okay. Unfortunately, Jan can't, yeah, can't equip this. And we have no one who can use the Cloak of Protection, which is super fucking unfortunate, because it's quite alright. Huh, yeah, I don't know. Sure, fuck it, we'll try this. I'm gonna get blurry too, aren't I? Yeah, look at that. I'm all over the fucking place. Yes! You know what? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Does it have any other effect? Nah. Sure. Very well. Let's see. How about you, Tar? Who are you? Thank the gods. Free me and we shall away. I fear the locks are magical. The mage that brought me had some sort of key. I don't know how you might obtain it. I've seen Firecrag. Do not risk yourself for my sake. Find a way to get the key from the mage, and we shall flee this place. Okay. I have encountered Garen's child locked within a cell. The cell has a magical lock, apparently, and the key for it may be on a mage somewhere nearby. Garen's child also warned me that Firecrag is extremely dangerous, and that it is not necessary for me to confront him, if I can. Getting the key and freeing Garen's child will be enough. Oh. So if we want to do some extra shit, we should go and kill him first. Maybe we'll get some extra lines. Right? I'm totally up for trying to kill him. <laughs> I'm not sure if we'll be able to, but I'm totally down for it. Okay, let's see here. Good. Get these items. ID that. Great. Stash that scroll. Fire shield red. I remember that from the first game. Okay, and then over Very here. Well. Does this need picking? It does not. I'll do it for a turnip. Teleport field and minor sequencer. I remember minor sequencer, but I don't remember teleport field. The wizard instigates a teleportation effect that randomly teleports all enemies in this area for the duration of the spell. Teleport field is best used against multiple enemies, serving to confuse them and allowing the wizard to concentrate on activating her defenses. Oh. Huh. But it's not that great for us because we have so much melee. You know, all the repositioning. We'll learn it, though. Minor sequencer as well. Good. Just as I would have can I pop thought. that? I cannot. You know, I can unlock this it this way, though. Oh, I don't have a proper... Back. Oh. Another flight of stairs going deeper. Maybe that's where Firecrag chills. Okay, well, let's get out of here first and look around. We'll try and resolve more of the dungeon. I'm assuming what we're looking for, that weird treasure or whatever, is around here. It's on this floor. I would guess. Excuse me. Let's see here. Good. Can I... Does this need unlocking? Yes, yes. It does. A standard tactic, that. Does it need disarming? Doesn't seem oh, like it. I can do that. And this one, that one's good. Okay. I can't. I'm allergic. Well, all right. I'm not that allergic. What? No time at all. All right. Is then. that? Oh shit. Captain Gerg and Troll. But it, or is the howling from CERN, or is that just ambient in this area? I feel like it's just ambient, right? Fools! The master will brook no incompetence. You are to clean his favorite golems, and you do the work too poorly. The master is furious. He values his golems more than a hundred of you. 
We do best, animal. Gurg did not sign on to be smacked by filthy dog. Please don't hit me, doggy. It hurts. It hurts. You have it wrong, scum. The dog is the one who grovels, and that shall surely be you. Oh, shit. Everybody here is a fucking werewolf. You need my skills, yeah, I see. Infravision again. I got that time. Get on with it. Okay. Well, obviously this person is on the side of Firecrag, so let's beat the shit out of him. Gurg not ready to die in stink hold like this. I leave. See ya, Gurg. Yes. Okay. There they go. Gurg and troll. <laughs> sure, I don't, I don't really know what we accomplished by doing that, but it seemed like the right thing to do. Very well. Okay, got a big old secret cube. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what yes? this is about. Oh, it's a big huh? passageway. Just as I would have thought. Oh, adamantite golem. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, let's power up real quick. Let's just what? see. We'll just go in here. Oh, oh shit. There's a whole fuckload of them. Okay. Can we hold on them? Can we? Can we do that? Let's see how this goes. We're almost certainly going to have to load. It has slowed me. I've been enraged. Critical strike protect or critical strike. It just says. Okay, is taking damage from Animan. Very little. Is taking damage from me as well. Sure. Let's see here. Can we cast hold on golems? Do they count as monsters? I'm assuming they're like constructs or something. Okay. So let's see. Magic resistance, save versus death. Sure. Okay. Let's do a load here. We know it's inside now. All right. So we need the what full slew of buffs, now? huh? Let's see here. Aid gives us two hit, doesn't it? Let's see. Yeah, bonus. Oh, it grants the benefit of bless and additional HP, which I guess we can do. Right, but we should still use a regular bless, shouldn't we? There we are. Good. What else can we apply here? I don't think golems are considered evil. Don't yell. I, I suppose we may as well do fine. it. Okay. Hmm. Draw upon holy might. Why not? And then we can get haste going as well. Cool. What other buffs have we got? Blur is just on the caster. Invisibility for 10 radius. Stone skin if we need to. Okay, I think Jan's buffs are good to go. Good. Okay, we can draw upon Holy Might again if we want. I feel like negative plane protection is not necessary here. Hmm. I guess we'll throw out aid. Defensive harmony. What does defensive harmony do again? I know it's good, but I don't even remember. Okay. What else have we got that we can throw out? Harper's call. I guess death ward. We could throw that down. Okay, good. All In right. we go. <laughs> Let's try a greater Malaysian or Malaysian Malazon. I could do no less. Let's go with the one on the left here first. Right. 
We'll also throw out Insect Plague. Right there, too. I shall go forth at your command. I am ready, I think. Good. I will stay on the main one. But we'll have the rest of the team take care of the ads. Cool. Okay, over here. Good, the bugs are out. Let's see, what else can we throw out and do here? We could... Hmm. Did we debuff that target? Did we get the... Malazan off? Hmm. Fuck it, let's try it again. I feel like there's no harm in doing it, because I don't think, uh... What's-his-name's attacks are really landing. Let's conjure some animals over there, too. Have them layer damage. Shimo is no backing off here. This is not even a dent. Okay. Now what else could we do? We could... I mean, we could try to remove magic, but it's got AoE on it, doesn't it? Let's see, we'll shoot it with a this little unit there. Here. If we can. I think we're getting it, yeah. This it's taking a bit, but we are taking care of business. Let's see. CERNED is getting no results. Animan kind of is. Here, maybe Animan would have better luck with... ...the spiritual hammer. Right? That might work out. I'll try that. Okay, and let's have... A nice big heal on myself. This is simply unnatural. Not even Not for dare. This is simply unnatural. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to have like any AoE cleave whatsoever, so we're doing all right. Great. Let's throw out some regular heals there. Oh, we killed it. I didn't even notice. Yeah, we killed it that time. Fantastic. Look at this. It's so so much better when you've got proper equipment to take on some of these bonus encounters, huh? And look, here's their golem treasure. Is it rigged to blow or anything? No. Okay, yes. what have you got? Some type of bow. Belgeril. What is that? I don't think we've ever read, th read this, have we? Normally a deep, pleasant seawater green. Belgeril's periodically blaze with a glittering, winking, flashing light. However, this particular stone has a slightly different hue. Perhaps it is a new strain, rarely, if ever, seen before. It looks incredibly valuable. Okay. Sure. Let us get Jan yes, over yes. here. A standard tactic, that... Composite longbow. Give it an ID. Heart Seeker plus three. That sounds very good. It actually has a plus four Thacko. Legends say that craftsman Pin O'Refin fashioned this bow from the heart of a treant, though how he came to possess such material is unknown. He certainly did not anticipate the enchantment within. Magic that makes the archer's aim almost infallible for a short period every day. Pin claimed his skill was responsible, but it is more likely that some aspect of the soul of the treant is still within the wood. This bow requires a strength of 18 to use. Oh my god, whoa. That's pretty hefty. Okay. Huh. Wild, a longbow with a very high strength requirement. That's cool. Yeah, I like that because it uh, very much leans into the idea that you could have a fighter that's a, a bow, a ranged weapon user. They don't necessarily have to be melee. Man, I'm quite pleased with how well we tackled that fucking monster. Let's see here. Can I inspect our spiritual hammer? No. 
I'll just have to assume it's fucking amazing. Let's get some heals going on for Yoshimo. Get you topped off if we can. Yoshimo's been such a fucking liability. <laughs> it's gotta be said. Okay. Like, I, I really do not enjoy the idea of having a melee thief in Baldur's Gate 1 or 2. It's so much better to have them at range, I think. They're so fucking squishy when things go awry. This will and without be any, like, proper threat management system wherein you can, like, on your tank, somehow taunt or, like, draw aggro in a proper way. Um, I don't know, it just feels way too risky to send in someone who who is so vulnerable, you know? Even even melee wizards have better defenses and can, like, mitigate incoming damage. Oh! Stranger. You! You, will you please help? We are lost in this place. Adventurers like you. We have been trapped here for days upon days and need a healer's touch almost most immediately. Come, come this way. You have wounded? I will help you help them as best I can. Lead on. Adventurers like me. I'm here for a personal reason. Why have you come? Why have you been left alone? If you have wounded, would not the orcs just kill you? Why have you come? I'm here for a personal reason. Uh why do adventurers always come? Uh, riches and glories and things. Come, wounded in here in the small room with one exit. Very safe place. Uh-huh. I see. A wise place for your wounded, then. I will follow and help as best I can. I imagine it is, though I don't think I want to get cornered in a confined space. If it is so safe, why do you have wounded? And why have the orcs let you live? Yeah. Let, let's say this. Why did the orcs let you live? Uh, uh, we, we have made a deal with them. Yes, that is it. They have let us leave, and we, uh, do not bother them. It is a good deal, I think. But you said you were adventurous. Why have you made deals with the orcs? And they let you keep your wounded here indefinitely? They let you just live around here with your wounded? Uh, yes, you see, it is a very good deal. No more talk, you just walk in to help the wounded, yes? You make deals with orcs. What kind of adventurers are you? <laughs> very well, we should not keep your wounded waiting. What kind of ad adventurers are you? We, uh, deals? We... <laughs> okay, sure. I I'm waiting. I don't want to cause you further stress when you are so obviously upset. I'll follow. I'm waiting. Uh, you wait no longer. Ambush stupid when you are clearly in the lair. Firecrag be damned, I'll kill you for food. Oh no, wolf wares. Why did they talk like that, though? We've heard other ones that didn't talk in such a weird no manner. Time at all. Pay attention. Okay. You will get those seconds. Let's take out the standard one first. And then we'll get the greater one. Cool. Lovely. Alright. Now... Let's check these. Do they need picking at all? No, they do not. Let's have a look inside. Got some stuff that needs IDing. Yeah, plenty of it. Oh, I can do that. Stash this. Get the dart of wounding onto Yoshimo. Get these two bits of ammo. Bolt of lightning. Stack up. Arrow of ice. Okay. What? Are there more wolfwares in there? Would you ask? I would assume so. Yeah, there it is. Oh no! Wolfware! <laughs> it's just immediately flattened. <laughs> What is it that proned them? Yeah, what was that? God, I have no idea. Maybe the sprite just got knocked down because we killed them so fast. The sprite yes. went down before their health bar did. Okay. 
Let's head in here. Make sure we get Yan here to investigate stuff. Nope, nothing needs picking. Got it. Or disarming. Okay, how about on this table? A couple scrolls and a bunch of bolts. Fair enough. I will take those bolts. Idem, bolt of biting. Can we stack them up there? Yeah, we can. Okay. Good. Here, let's make some more bruiser mates. Why not? And then let's check here. Whoa! Some cool horn. Hold undead. Necromancy. This spell holds 1d4 undead creatures rigidly immobile and in place. The effect is centered on the victim, selected by the caster. Any enemies within four feet of the target are also affected. Wait, isn't it 1d4 though, so up to four creatures? Isn't that the idea? Those who succeed on their saving throws are totally unaffected by the spell. Held creatures cannot move or speak, but they remain aware of events around them and can use abilities not requiring motion or speech. Being held does not prevent the worsening of the subject's condition, condition due to wounds. Okay. And because Jan is an illusionist, cannot learn any necromantic capabilities. Okay. It Over shall here. be done with skill and care, if not brevity. Get these ID'd and taken care of. Arrows of piercing. More darts. Horn. Oh, I'm all out of IDs. Okay. Well, let's do a rest here. Wow, we actually managed to do it. Okay. Horn of blasting. While many army engineers spend their time perfecting siege equipment, Julius Bagar delved into the magical tomes, into magical tomes for his engineering insights. Therein he found ancient scriptures that detailed how to make, control, and wield sound waves. The Horn of Blasting was his first and only attempt at taking the theoretical magical knowledge to create a practical new technology. An apprentice blew through the horn, aimed in the direction of Julius, who had insisted on a useful experiment. The resulting shockwave that emanated from the horn first stunned, stunned, and then tore poor Julius apart. Oh my god! And anyone can use it. I thought it was about to be bard only or something. Wow. Okay. Sure. Let's give it to Jan. It feels like a very Jan item, you know? Like a little engineered doohickey. Feels like, you know, doohickeys are in the realm of Jan. Okay. Fantastic. Very well. Let's see now. Where else do we need to go? Oh, entrance to the maze. Okay, entrance to the cavern. So the maze must be what that one person was talking about then. Sure. Yeah, right there. It makes me wonder what these other doors are for. Man, the Orogs came fucking back. For the order! Okay. Taking care of business here. Ripping them the fuck up, honestly. Look at that. Okay, magic missile. Oh, we better give that to Jan. Cool. Jan Jansen at your service. Okay, fantastic. Just as I would have thought. Let's quick save and continue through. I guess we can open up all of these other doors except for the required one. See what's behind them, if anything. No, it's just a booby trap door. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, pardon, turn up reflex. So if I just open any of these, yeah, I'm just getting fucking roasted. 
and farted upon and everything. Well, that was safe versus death. Get on with it. No okay, we should get out of that for sure. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Samia, you might fucking die here. Does that apply to NPCs and stuff, or do they not have to make rolls? No, they do have to make rolls. Did Samia just die? All right. No, okay. Maybe they made it so that Samia cannot possibly die to this fart. They just cranked up their stats in a major way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. All right, you know what? This seems like as good a time as any to end uh, the video, right? <laughs> Why not? I suppose when next we come back, we will head into the maze area and try to find this... Oh, there we go. We'll try to find this magic treasure or whatever that Samia wants and bring it back, right? And then after that, we should have a bonus showdown with Firecrag. It sounds like another fun extra encounter that is unnecessary, but one that I am more than happy to undertake, if possible, right? Until next time... Please take care of each other.